Hello ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to review and uh, show some new content regarding using Audacity to take a song and to make it into your own karaoke. Um, I'm going to quickly go through the process of importing the audio and pulling out the vocals. Um, this aligns with the worksheet that you should have on hand. And then I'm going to go into some more detail about the recording process itself when you're going to take your vocals and the vocals of your group members and pull them into the song and mix everything. So first I'm going to open up Audacity. You can pause at any time if I'm going too quickly. In Audacity, I want to find my file and import my audio. And my audio is sitting on my desktop. It's an MP3. Again, you may have a window here that asks you to do something. Just press OK. So I have my audio. Um, this is with the vocals. Now, if I pressed play for you to listen to it, you wouldn't be able to hear it because I have my headphones plugged in. I'll be able to hear the audio through my headphones, but you wouldn't be able to hear it because my microphone wouldn't pick up that recording. So that's something to note later when we get into the recording process. For now, though, I want to just select my track. I want to find effect, go down to vocal remover. This is going to remove all of the vocals in that track. And so now if I did press play, I would realize that indeed uh, the vocals are gone. So this is where the worksheet stopped. Um, you should be good up to this point. Now it's going to be the process of recording your own voice onto uh, this track. So the first thing I would suggest is turning down the volume of this track. The reason you're going to do that is because as you record your own voice, you want to be able to hear what you're saying or singing um, and uh, barely be able to hear the song itself. Okay, um, I'm actually right now going to unplug my headphones so that when I press play, you'll be able to hear the audio coming through the speaker. So it may sound a little bit different, uh, but moving forward, we're going to go ahead with this with this recording version. Now, you'll want to make sure that when you're recording your voice, you use headphones because if you press play and you and you're recording, and without the headphones, your internal microphone is going to pick up what's coming out of your speakers along with your voice. So it's going to become really distorted and really grainy and loud. Okay. So you can, uh, and, and I'll, I'll give you an example of that. So if I press play, I can barely hear the, um, the vocals. Again, uh, if your song doesn't work really well, you may want to choose a different song. The process, though, of recording your voice is simply to press the record button wherever you've selected um, the, the track to go. So if I press record right now, it would begin recording right here, and it would create a new track. So I'll try that, and I'll show you what that sounds like. Hello, I'm recording, but it's also picking up the audio from my speakers, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now to listen to that, I can mute this first track, come into my, uh, my second track that I recorded. I'm recording, but it's also picking up the audio from my speakers, blah, blah. Yeah, so you could hear that. So that's why what you want to do is you want to record with your headphones in. Now, this is the basic process. Um, you're going to be recording throughout the song. Every time you press record, you're going to create a new track. So this is actually going to be the way you layer things. If you have three people in your group and you have them um, singing at different times, what you can do is you can mute the previous tracks. You can come in and you can begin recording right here. And this is the second person that's recording whatever. Okay. Now another kind of neat thing you could do, and this is for the, the very brave, um, if you wanted to do some type of harmonizing or you are all singing the chorus or you're all singing the bridge, um, let's say group member number one recorded right here. I'm group member number two. I want to record in the exact same place. All I have to do is mute my um, group member one's track and begin recording right on top of where he recorded 
and then it's gonna you're gonna hear both things at the same time. So what I'll do is I'll mute my audio, unmute this, and you'll be able to hear what that sounds like. And begin recording. Hello, I'm recording right on but top of where he recorded. Okay. So that's the process. It's it looks kind of scary, but it's really not. You'll want to play with um, changing the volume here. Um, and then some of these tools are available for you. There are drawing tools, there are envelope tools where you can minimize the sound in one section and make it a little bit louder in another section. There are all kinds of effects that um, may end up causing your, your project to be a little distorted. So I would um, use these um, as minimally as you, as you could. When you're all finished with your process, periodically you're going to be saving your project. Now, you have to know that when you're saving, you're saving it as an Audacity project. So I could close this and come back to it any time if I can find that project. So it creates a folder, an Audacity folder. And no, it didn't. Uh, where is it? It's here somewhere. Let's see. Let's see. Audacity. Audacity. And this may happen to you. Uh, oh, there it is. Dirt. Okay. So it looks like the Audacity icon, um, and it's whatever you called it. So this is my Audacity project. If I open this, I can pick up wherever I left off. Um, so you don't have to worry about losing things. Now, the one thing I'll say is, as a group, you'll want to make sure that you're using one computer. If you're all trying to do a project and then bring it together in the end, it's not going to work real well. So you'll want to um, use one project, um, make sure multiple people have it saved, though, so save to a flash drive, um, and, then, and then pass that around. When you're all finished, you're going to go to File. You're going to Export this audio and you're going to make sure it's saving as a wave. Saving it as a wave is going to allow you to import it into Movie Maker or um, uh, uh, a Photo Story or whatever other um, project thing you want to use. So I'll just save this to the desktop as a wave. I already have one there, I'm going to replace it. Okay, you'll see this um, metadata. You can actually go in and um, edit this, but all you are going to do is press OK and then it's going to finalize your song as a wave. Here is that final song. And, begin recording. Hello, I'm recording. and you can hear that it was all crazy. Now that wave file you can import into your, um, your MP3 player and you can actually play that. So if you have any other questions, rewind, um, pause, go through that process and uh, hopefully this helps.